at 7.30, we got another 7.30 gang. 7.30 gang, we got like six of those. You know, so this is the third one, about halfway through the 7.30 games, guys. 7.30 gang. Uh, number 23, Pitt, which is one and one traveling to Western Michigan, which if you do not remember last year, Western Michigan haunts the nightmares of Pitt fans. They lost two games last year. You don't lose the Western Michigan game, that could be a playoff squad. And that is insane to think about if you're Pitt. To let a game slip away to Western Michigan. A game that you could have had, and a game that could have gotten you into the playoffs. That is an insane thing to think about, but you could have made the playoffs with Kenny Pickett last year if Western Michigan didn't steal that away from you. Granted, you still had a very good year, you still won the ACC. But you could have made the playoffs if it wasn't for the freaking Broncos, which is just an insane thing. Western Michigan's also 1-1. One one. Pitt's coming off a heartbreaking loss against Tennessee. It's fair by 10 points on ESPNU. Obviously not loving Pitt here is Vegas. Caden Slovis, the quarterback for Pitt, has gone 30 of 48, thrown for 503 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. But I do not know if he's going to be healthy for this game because in the second half, he was knocked out of the game with an injury against Tennessee. Did a great backup, did a great job of keeping them in that football game. They did not end up winning. They went to overtime, but did not win that game. Uh, Israel Abanakata. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, by the way. But I, I did it wrong, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, I can't do any better. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to that one man, I'm so sorry. I can't pronounce your last name, dude. It said 33 carries for 169 yards and a touchdown. Jared Wayne on three airs had 10 catches for 171 yards and a touchdown. Jack Salopak said four, is, went 46 of 79 for Western Michigan. He's thrown for 423 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Sean Tyler, Tyler, I hardly know her, but said 28 carries for 176 yards, two touchdowns. And Corey Crooms said <coughs> again sick. Said 15 catches for 143 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Western Michigan leads the series all time, one nothing, oh, 44-41. Again, last year, keeping Pitt out of the playoffs. Absolute insanity. Absolute mad lads as Western Michigan. As a Penn State fan, I enjoy it. I thank, thank you. Thank you, Broncos. I love you, Broncos, for doing such a thing. Keeping Pitt out of the playoffs is absolutely genius. Because if they hadn't made, if they made the playoffs, that would be heartbreaking. But they didn't make the playoffs. And it being because you lost to Western Michigan is the best thing ever. It's the best gift a Penn State fan could get. Maybe Penn State making the playoffs would be the best gift a Penn State fan could get. But the second best one is Pitt missing the playoffs because they lost to Western Michigan. Well, actually, the best is they lost to Penn State. That's what counts out in the playoffs. But losing to Western Michigan is almost as good. I think this game's going to be really close. Honestly, I think Western Michigan has some really good energy on that football team. I think they have a good team. Uh, I think Pitt still wins this one, uh, but I think it, Western Michigan keeps it close and covers the 10-point spread. Uh, 